um, hello everyone today I want to show you how you can set up latex on Neovim with like a compilers and stuff on macOS and I know there's a lot of there are a lot of tutorials out there for Linux but for Macs uh, is a little bit um, I wouldn't say difficult but there are less tutorial out there so I want to share what I know and my setup okay so without any further let's just start so this is the plugin that we're going to be using on Neovim so I'm going to be going to Neovim and start our configuration so you can use your own types of configuration but I myself have been using a uh, lazy vim so here in my plugin folder I'm going to be creating a new file let's just name it text um, you can name whatever you want it doesn't re really matter and and now use your own text editor but since this case we're using new vim which is obviously we're going to do it Um, so we need to return a Lua table using Vim text. So at this point, you are pretty pretty much set set to like using the plugin itself. But I'm gonna be showing you what the problem will be. There won't be like really a problem, but it's quite a inconvenience for your editing experience. So I'm gonna be showing you what it looks like. So I'm gonna be to one example oh. nope. 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 here um, open this so what you need to do in order to compile the file is backslash and then L and then another L so here it is so now you can see it works pretty much fine you can like I'll show you um, how to add it let, let me show you so you can pretty much work with it honestly it's not really that difficult but there's a case so if I'm editing is editing is to ax plus b and so on you can see that when this file has been changed this PDF file is also changed automatically but the problem that I was talking about is so if you scroll down you're editing your file and you're on page like page 4 or whatever so this is just like a small assignment that I did so imagine you have a big document with hundreds of pages so if I'm on the latest page so this page um, Let's see, I want to modify the answer. So the answer is five instead of four. Let it, the completion has completed. When I click on back to the PDF file, look, it moves you back to page one. Again, if I try to change anything else, it will just move me back to the first page, which is really a pain in the ass um, so I've researched some solution and the solution that you could be done is to not use the built-in MacBook preview use a different one so I would like to use this one called skim it's a pretty old app but it works wonderful so just <coughs> I'm using brew to install it Let it install just a few sec. Okay. Since I already did done this, so it would have said yes, yeah, so I've been installed. So this is our skimmed here. Yeah. Okay, so our PDF reader or viewers install so now what you need to do is go to 
your plugin configuration earlier and add a function here. Um, when G then text view method into skim and save it. So now into skim, you need to add a few more arguments to the app itself. Um, so now you go to setting with command comma or hover over here and go to sync and choose your preset with nvim but since it's not here for me I'll add a custom one so it's nvim and pass in the arguments which I'll leave in the description below headless dash c and quote vim text inverse search uh, percent L or pass another code in here percent F uh, that's it you're done and just to make sure it's all set just press enter it's all good now um, so let's just go back to our file okay. so now if I let it compile well it stopped earlier so um oh, let's just restart our file first i don't think it's set in yet so backslash l l it should be loading any minute now here it is so i find these side panes a little bit annoying so i'll disable it you need to go to view and hide these things here so just move it and show you how it works well it's the same thing but you know so if I change the value back to 4 again for the velocity here if I change to 4 see I'm still on page 6 I'm not moved back to page 1 Uh, I don't know what's going on here, it's the plugin, but whatever. So the uh, important thing is we are not moved back to page one, which is the thing that we need. So now we can edit it with pretty much, yeah, it's just the same old latex. So if you'd like the video, leave a like or dislike, I don't care. Just want to share some stuff. Yeah. Um, yep. So thank you.